Yes, it started. Hello, everyone. Hey, we're live. It's a pandemic special. <laughs> or a lockdown special, I suppose. Yeah, a lockdown special. Just to give the uh, the viewers at home a little bit of a, an insight. Obviously, before we were in the tier system and just general doing what we wanted, really, weren't it, through the summer, uh, despite what the government said. And um, now we've gone into lockdown part two. We're currently now... Electric myself... boogaloo. <laughs> when you said that to me, I wonder what's he on about. And I go a little bit and realised. Um, but yeah, we're in separate it build. Dan it dance two, weren't it? Smart. Yes. Yeah. So now we're in separate buildings entirely, which some would say is an improvement actually on the original situation. Um, but yeah, we're watching, uh, well, I'm currently watching this, what is it, Gen, what's it called? This Genshin. Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. Um, which, well, this is very high tech, are we able to tell the viewers the secrets behind this or should we just keep up the illusion? No, no, we're, we're talking through Skype. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're doing it through Skype. And, the, the downside uh, is Adam can't hear anything on my end. What was that, sorry? It's just damn shame. What was that, sorry? Oh. <laughs> no, I can, I can you, hear... You, you, you make that joke hearing. every every Let's Play. You know what, sorry? Oh. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we're recording we a bit of so I recorded a bit of Genshin Impact because I was trying to convince Adam to give it a go. Oh. And now that we're finally recording it, I've stopped playing this. Because it's gotten way too grindy. So I'll give the viewers a bit of a uh, insight into what, what the game... And, mis and myself, actually, because I've never heard of it. What, what's the game about? Uh, well, it's, it's kind of like Zelda Breath of the Wild. Kind of. Uh, you get... You get loads of um, characters that you're supposed to grind them up to levels and what you. Uh, and it's free to play, so obviously it's going to be really, really, really grindy. And it's just got to that point where I've just stopped playing it because I just can't be bothered anymore. So, what console is it on? Well, I'm playing it on PS4. Yeah. I don't think it's on Xbox, but I'm not sure. And how old is it? Uh, about a month. Oh, so it's new. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Looking at this. So it looks a little bit too anime for me. It looks very, very anime. <sighs> uh, but I mean, next like, time what, you what? recommend something to me, I'm going to say it looks too western to me. <laughs> you know what I mean, though, don't you? For I like, you know, I mean. I'm not a massive anime fan, to be fair. I don't really get the whole genre, which is, you know, probably not going to go down well on this sort of channel, is it? But I, I don't really understand it. But it is a multi-million pound industry, isn't it? And yeah, yeah. This, this game's been out a month. It made 350 million. Oh, yeah. Well, should you I think that's on PS4, and that's not including China. Yeah. So it's probably made a shit ton more. Well, China never published the figures, did they? Nope. <laughs> uh, so, I, like I say, I, I'm, I'm seeing this. I, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. This is the first time we've done a video recording like this. Obviously, to me, I don't know if it looks like that at your end, but James, but it it looks a little bit buffery. You know what I mean? It's a bit jumpy. The, the image. So, what what's sort of happening here? You, you're fighting some aren't you? What what are you fighting it for? Uh, well, this was one of the uh, main quests later on. And what what's the point of the game? What's the, what's the point of it? What are you trying to do? Uh, beat quests, level up your characters, and stuff. So there's no real story board to it. Uh, there is, but I won't pay attention. So you basically just got to run around, blowing stuff up, and fighting things. Yeah. There is a story, it's, it's just really generic and I stuff. Oh, right, okay. And what character are you playing as? Zhang Ling, one of my favourites. Why is she, is she your favourite, Zhang Ling? Well, she's got really useful fire skills and um, she's got high damage per second. Oh, I see. 
because she's really good at dealing with item damage. Who was that, Amy? Oh man, there was a character called Amy, who's that? That's my main character. You, why do you like the name Amy, don't you? Yeah. Why is that? Is that the name you would call yourself if you were a female? No, no. Mm. Still getting it's <laughs> yeah, got a name. It's craft stuff, obviously. So they just, these, um, isn't it, for the viewers? Fragments. The, what? Uh, uh, no, no, talk about your fragments, I'll come back to it. Right. You got your fragments, they're for levelling up. You got all these masks and what have you. And arrowheads. They're for levelling up your weapons. You basically level up to level. Well, there you can see. That's what I need to level up. Okay. You can you get you constantly get get capped at a certain level. And then you have to gather all these materials and what have you. So you can add an extra ten levels onto that cap. Because it's free to play. It's, See, just got, it's to gotten pay... to the point. It's gotten to the point where I just can't be bothered anymore. So you haven't playing. had to pay a single dime for this game. No. Well that's a big plus for people that's thinking about buying it and obviously they'll be watching this video and rush to the um not to the store because they're all, cl all closed but to the online store and they'll download well, this well there's no there's no physical version of this game right so it's as well isn't it all non-essential retail having to close mm. um, i've still got all my order oh yeah, you royal, see royal mail. it's been at royal mail for since wednesday oh you see that's a problem in it with Royal mail they're too bloody slow you know they they're not very good, are they, really? No, they're rubbish. They, they, uh, they've paid for 48-hour tracking. They, they post it Monday. It's been in their office since Wednesday. I'm bothered. They are... Um, the, the excuse is lockdown has come up with an unprecedented amount of posts. They're even saying, now, if you actually look on the websites, I ordered something that was coming through Royal Mail. They're actually saying that they're stopping Saturday delivery now because you know, they're that overrun with work. They can't come out on a Saturday. It'd be nice if they did some fucking work. Yeah, just for our American and overseas viewers, Royal Mail is the National Postal Service of the UK. <laughs> Not as bad as Hermes, but you know. <laughs> oh, Hermes, fuck. I did just see that. I'm going to Hermes, dear me. <laughs> yeah. You might as well just, you know. In the warehouse, just throw it out of the window and hope the wind takes it there. If you're going to send something via Hermes, it's just hopeless. Always an issue. Never, if ever, viewers, if ever you've got the option to have anything delivered by Hermes, don't do it. Pay that bit extra for that UPS or DHL or virtually any other courier, really. You always have just some random, random are turning up, don't you, as well, Hermes? They rarely come in a van. It's just like some random guy or some woman that's like in a Citroen Picasso or something like that's turn up and yeah. fling it. That's happened with Amazon once, but it wasn't bad. There's a surge though, isn't there, now in people like, you know, through lockdown obviously people are being furloughed and that people are, you can just set up a, a car and become an Amazon driver. I could probably do it to be fair, but I wouldn't want to do it to my car. It's too much messing about. So what's happening here? You're flying through the air. Oh yeah, I was just on my way to the next story object and I saw this. So this is a top trick for you. Top trick, people, listen up. Yep, yeah, you, you'll need you'll need at least um, one character with um, a heavy weapon of some sort to break stuff like that. What do you mean a heavy weapon? You mean like a good sledgehammer or maybe a a sledgehammer, a claymore, something like that. Mm. Although, uh, nah, when it started, you could get you you there were guaranteed chance of getting that character I just used. Now nah, they've got rid of that. Youngsters, is there a bunch of certain characters? Yeah, they've go fetch them. Uh, I'll be. I'll, I think I'll show this off later, but you get you get premium currency because of course you do, and you can buy wishes that they're essentially loot boxes. 
Oh, yeah. Delicious. So many yeah, you, you buy them, you buy them ten at a time, and you get, you get a guaranteed four-star item. So That's not a guaranteed sure. character. So I suppose it is a free game, though, isn't it? To be fair, we can't, we can't slag it off that much. Yes, I can. Because he's got really shit at the point. Mm. You get energy as well. And that's how you get your items to, you know, the ones you have to level up your characters and what have you. That's tied to energy. It's just, it's, it's gotten ready. So, is, so is the world, hasn't it? Capitalism at its worst. Oh well, I've got, I've got plenty of other games. Is there adverts in it or anything like that? No. Oh, I'll, give it, I'll give it that. Mm, that's not so this is obviously quite a different sl like slant to the other games. Is there going to be a series of videos on this, or is this just a pure one-off? Yeah, this is a one-off. I'm not playing oh, it again. One -off. Have you loaded that one that I took part in yet, or not? Which one's that? That one that's like Total Wipeout. Oh, I've deleted that now. You've deleted it? What's that even going to go live? Oh no, not the video. The video's fine. Oh right, when's the, when's the video going live? Uh, probably a day before this. I don't know when. Exciting. So, what, what would you advise the fans to do? Let's keep an eye on your on your page. Yep. So sh we should start uploading again regularly. Yeah, you see, yep. this is the thing now. Now that we're not in the same room, I can't sort of communicate with you. I, I don't really know uh, what is to come. So, is there a series of one-off videos to start with, and then, and then? Yeah, it's... yeah, we'll we'll get back to Spyro two after that. Mm -hmm. I haven't started uploading Spyro two, but I will do. So about one or two videos a week, really, going out. Yeah. Well, it is a pandemic. All we can do is our best, isn't it? I mean, it's only it's for a month. I think after that, in December, it goes back to as it was before. So we might be able to start before Christmas you, again. You don't believe that, do you? <laughs> well, what worries me is that they've extended the furlough until March. Exactly. Back. Yes, exactly. They've extended the furlough to March. <laughs> that's when the fucking pan. That's when the lockdown's really going to get lifted. Yeah. Call it now. It's on record. <laughs> This week's been a very interesting week for the world as well since we last recorded. We UK has gone back into the second lockdown, lockdown two, as we mentioned at the beginning of the show. Uh, electric boogaloo. Electric boogaloo, that's it. But also a big one for America as well, uh, where I've never known the election take like four days to count. Um, but they did warn of it, didn't they, at the start? Yeah, they're, 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 they're trying to magic more votes forbidden out of nowhere. Don't you like him, Joe Biden? Are you not keen of him? No. Why don't you like him? I don't think he's bad, but he's not good. Mm. I think his campaign is just—he's not Donald Trump. I think that's his campaign. Yeah, that—that's exactly it. But that seems to be enough for a lot of voters, doesn't it? Because <laughs> he's fucking Kanye West then. <laughs> he's been the most voted for candidate ever, hasn't he? Joe Biden. Yeah. He's cheating. He's cheating. I think he'll win. I think he's going to win now. He only needs seven more votes, doesn't he? Yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous. At time of recording, by the way, viewers, uh, Biden is on 264 and Trump is on 214. He's, he's probably. He's got to be. Someone's got to be cheating for him, at least. Did you I see that sudden jump me. upwards? Yeah, but they're counting personal votes, aren't they? What that many at once? <laughs> it's like it, it was it was a sudden vertical jump. Mm. You don't have that happen. Mm. He needs evidence, doesn't he? I think if he can provide evidence of like electoral fraud or whatever he's calling it, then they might have a case. If he can't, I can see him getting carried out of the White House, mate. So I don't think he's gonna go quietly. Well, they can't get evidence because people were, who were supposed to be watching the counters were thrown out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, hmm, totally not suspicious at all. It's strange, though, because like, America's meant to be, like, head of the free world, but I don't think you could ever do that here, could you? 
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, our, our country's in a mess, but imagine like it, that happening out of here. It just wouldn't happen, would it? Uh, well, I don't know. Oh, I hope not. Yeah. Uh, it's so a very strange voting system, though. Very strange. Yeah, the um, electoral college, college just get to uh, they get to arrange the votes in a certain way. Yeah. To change what the votes actually mean. Yeah, it's a strange one. I don't think any. I don't think the Americans, and particularly those in government and the media, they definitely don't want him to go back in, do they? So they're certainly doing everything they can. Yeah. I can't remember the last president to not be re-elected, to be fair. If anybody knows that, um, leave it in the messages box. That would be much appreciated. So what's happening now? I, I've, I'm seeing a loading screen, is that right? Oh, yeah, this is a loading screen. I left this one in because it's really fucking long. Hmm. It is free, though, and we have to remember that. It's totally free, and for that, you can't compare it to the others, really, can you? Oh, I can. No. How many out of ten do you give it then? It was all right early on. It was really good early on. I, I suppose if you just if you don't get too invested, then you'll be all right. So you how many can, out of ten? You can drop the game when you, but it starts getting on your fucking nerves with money. I don't know how long I played it. How many out of ten are you giving it, James? I'm not giving it a number. Why? Because I never do. I haven't seen enough of it to be fair. Is it just one level then? Does it literally only take half an hour this game? No, no, this, this goes on for hours. So how come you're only hours. doing a half hour video upload? Yeah, I'm, I'm not playing through the whole fucking game. I'd still be at it. And nobody wants that. They keep, up, they keep updating it as well with new stuff. So, so would you? You're not giving it a score out of ten, then. What would you recommend it to people watching this? Yes, with a really big a big asterisk. Just don't spend any money on it. Okay. Yeah, here's a shop with all the all the stuff that you can. So buy. this is what loot boxing is. Yep. How much is it then? I can see numbers. What's that mean in real money? I uh, don't know. They, they deliberate hide it from you nowadays. So when do you put your bank details in? The um, the console will store it for you. Ah, oh, right, I see. Everything's done through PlayStation Network. Mm. Where's it set? Is it set in Japan there, so is it set in a mystical land? No mystical land. What like Barnsley? No, I said mystical land. <laughs> yeah, but it is a bit weird. There's some weird creatures there, there's people with six fingers and stuff like that. <laughs> I want to apologise, of course, if anybody is from Barnsley, I have spent uh, but uh, you know, I, I you know, I do, I don't particularly dislike Barnsley, but it's just, um, yeah, no, it's it's too good an opportunity to not poke fun of them, isn't it, all the time? Mm. Rather than you could do them as well. Uh, they're pretty bad. Uh, let's just for our overseas viewers, if they don't know where Barnsley and Rotherham is. Um, you don't really need to know. It's not really something that's going to bother you, so I won't, I won't worry too much about it. So you're gliding back in here to um, back into the mythical land. How do you think it's working? Our first online video. It'd be right. I'll see. I'll see properly when it get to edit it. Mm, I can see this. You'll, we'll be doing all this and it'll not pick up sound or something. The way my look. Any views um, on the recently uploaded videos or not? No. Not YouTube. sure. It makes you wonder why we bother really, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Why don't you use them promotional things so you get like, you know, pushed up? Ah, it's not worth it. No, on YouTube will not work anyway. I think you need to do like a countdown, mate, rather than like all gameplay, you know what I mean? Let's do like a countdown of 10 best Sega games or something like that. Yeah, maybe. I definitely mean to do more of these one-offs. Yeah, I like these one-offs. Quite straightforward, aren't they? Hmm, so I just picked up. That you go to shrines and they give you extra stamina and other stuff. And they're all... Some of them are hidden. And some of them you have to find out to touch in order to get, catch them. Who's the bad guy in this? Uh, well, I've never got that far in the game. Well, that's a well, down, you? When you start the game, you, you can pick between a boy and a girl and a brother and sister. And are they secretly inbred? No. Oh, well, that'd have fitted more with the Barnsley theme. So you pick between a brother and sister. It's, yep. it's implied that it's your other one that you don't pick. Who's the bad guy? Oh, so if you play as a sister, the brother's the bad guy. If you play as a brother, the sister's the bad guy. It's implied. I've not gone that far. So. Uh, it's a JRPG. It's probably brainwashed or something. Uh, okay. Interesting. But that's wrong, isn't it? Turning brothers and sisters against each other. Hmm. Broken Britain. Which does lead me back, actually. I completely forgot about it when you were talking through the fragments at the start we've lost over. I was going to move on to another conversational piece. If you were a girl, what would you want to be called? I don't know. It doesn't matter anyway, because I'm not going to change. Are you not thinking of transitioning? No, I'm not doing it just because it's cool. <laughs> Do you want to know what I'd be called? Go on. Eve. Because I'm called Adam, I think it's the logical thing to call myself Eve. Don't you agree? Eh, uh, fine. I, I think I'd make a good Eve, me. I think I'd look, I think I'd look like an Eve, you know what I mean? I'd be one of these real kind of, you know, glossy girls, you know what I mean? A Fiat 500 driver. And I'd, I'd really go to town with it. Mm. But it's too expensive, really, to do a good, proper job on it. And at the end of the day, with the budget I'm on, if I tried to transition, I'd just, I'd look weird. Just get you free on the NHS. <laughs> they won't let you in for that at the minute, though, would they? They haven't even got room to treat dying coronavirus patients. <laughs> I don't think you can walk into a Nightingale hospital and say, oh, yeah, man, I want to transition. I feel like becoming Eve. Well, that's what they've got to do for the trans people there. <laughs> Put them first. <laughs> I, I know, it's a, it's a new territory, isn't it? Now? I mean, like, you know, ten years ago, we were at school, you'd have never dreamed of, like, trans, Jenny, but they're never part of it. Remember when everyone thought Lady Gaga was a hermaphrodite, and that was, like, a big talking point? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, fast forward ten years, and everybody's doing it, aren't they? Ridiculous. Amazing how out 21st century is progressing. I mean, regress. <laughs> I'm all for equal rights, but they can't expect to be treated better than us. Because mm. then you have people pretending to be trans. Well, that's it. How do you know a pervert is not going to pretend to be trans so they can get a look in ladies' toilets? How do you know that? Mm. You know, you know, think all things like that. But then, then again, though, they're thinking of a third toilet situation. Like at university, there's actually a gender neutral toilet now. Yeah, well, that just makes sense. Instead of having two halves, just have one with nothing but cubicles. There's a, yeah, well, there's three toilets. There's a male toilet, there's a female toilet, and then there's a gender neutral toilet. Just have one for everyone. Mm. Mm. 
don't know if that would be working changing rooms, but anyway. Oh, good. Yeah. Harry and Megan, are they bringing their kid up to be gender neutral? Have I made that up? Bad Oh, well, well, that's the end of the video. That's it. <laughs> I'm just getting going with that. That's uh, what happened then. I completely missed this end of the video. Just to summarise it. Uh, I did some daily stuff. Then that was it. Wow. Was that it then? Is it end of recording? Yep, that's it. We'll see you next time with Sparrow 2, I think. Exciting. Sparrow. Summit Sparrow. Bye.